Pakistani style of Tekken. Yeah, I think he uh, did go for a little bit. He said he, he trained with them. That's where he had uh, learned playing against Arsenal. And if you see from their sets uh, and those first attempts, I think uh, Arsenal won one because he had Steve, but then the rest that need one with uh, Double Chin, mm. which is a character that was a, a way better 50-50 than uh, Steve. Yeah, Devil Jin is very scary. Yeah, definitely. All right, but here comes his grand finals. Uh, this is pretty much the same thing from last week. Blood against Gunslinger, but this time Gunslinger's a loser, so yeah, let's see how it can go away this time. Gunslinger's got a little bit further to go this time around. Yeah, definitely. So we got I mean, but it was a 3-0 convincingly, so it all depends upon how each player's playing today. Uh, it was a 3-0 the last set, yeah, with Carquel. No, I, I mean uh, last week. Uh, with oh, Gunslinger. last week. Yeah, with Gunslinger and Lud. We'll see. I know Lud has recently been really passionate about Tekken, so I feel like... I mean, definitely. He's been telling me how he wants to uh, win a weekly for Tekken. Well, he's won a couple. He wants to win the monthly now. Oh, the monthly. Ooh, yeah, that's a big one. He's got a couple goals. He also <laughs> wants to win Street Fighter and Tekken. That's his new thing in the same week. But uh, Lud is not the kind of player to take a, a you know, going 0-3 lightly. So oh, I wouldn't definitely. be surprised that we have some new technology from LUD this time around. Okay. I gotta say, LUD had a pretty strong beginning, but it's not oh. out of the realm of possibility here for Gunslinger to pull this out. Oh, wow. Tying things up here. Five seconds on the clock. Oh, <gasps> No very. chicken. Wow, the chase down. I'm surprised to see that. I would have been running. <laughs> right, two seconds left. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, generic grab. Tick throw. There's like okay. a certain level you get in Tekken where you just start trying to one plus two break everything. <laughs> you stop looking at the hands and you get susceptible to those regular grabs again. Yeah, definitely. But then sometimes you just gotta remember, okay, even if you do press one plus two, you can still go back and press the generic three. Right. Ooh, wow, you just one plus two grab again. Yeah, Gunslinger definitely identifying a massive weakness here on Lud's part. Oh. Having a hard time dealing with these grabs. That was a really good uh, situation that led people. Oh. Oh. Okay. Did he oh. know about that? Or was ah. that an error, do you think? Ah, I believe it was error. I want, I want to say he was trying to do uh, the raise drive. Ah. Uh. Wow, Lud looking really aggressive now. Yeah, I was going to say, it, that was really smart how Lud switched the uh, wall situation around against a uh, gunslinger. Ooh, the orbital. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's Lars. He's going to the wall? Yeah. Huh? Ugh. Beautiful. And that was not real. Lud, I think, yeah, Lud could have quick rise there. No, I think uh, because he shortened the wall combo, that's why he was able to get the, uh, those hits in. Like that, those okay. two hit moves of the hitboxes, they're really consistent as a wall combo. Okay. And Gunslinger looking really strong here. Just goes to show you in Tekken 7, one good combo to the wall could be all the momentum you need to close it out. And yeah, once, once Gunslinger landed that juggle, took it all the way to the wall, that was it. That was all she wrote for Lud. Definitely. All right, Gunslinger showing really strong. Ooh, big whiff, but no punish. So, catching him with it down four to once. Yeah, now we're seeing aggressive Gunslinger again. He's really afraid to give Lud enough rope to, you know, hang himself with, which is his usual. And there he, he had the whiff punish prime, but just goes to show you how tough that is to whiff punish, the, the up forward three. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, the hop kick, but no punish. <gasps> but a quick carry into the... Doesn't Ooh. go for the wall break. Goes yeah. for the damage instead. Oh, Ooh. oh, it whiffed. And it's, oh, well. it's a right. pretty rare option at this level. Yeah, definitely. I'm surprised it actually whiffed. Oh. L sweep. Got to do it every once in a while, right? Oh, here comes the raise drive. <gasps> oh. The challenge from Lud. Perfectly <laughs> placed. Oh, the 4 for one hit. Okay, Tyrannosaurus says, this Asuka isn't very com comfortable on offense. Listen, there's two ways to look at that. Lud is a world-class fighting game player. I think he's comfortable on offense. I think he respects yeah. Gunslinger's defense. Yeah, he, he, he pokes enough. He understands that Gunslinger understands the matchup, so he has to use his tools carefully. Right, and oh. look at that. Huge combo. Oh, goes for the reset instead. Oh, he was trying to get another wall splat. I think another wall splat would have definitely killed. Okay. Lud is in a good position to uh, get revenge for last week. Yeah, definitely. He's one game up. Character select. I would be really shocked. Uh, I wouldn't expect the character select for the Gunslinger. Yeah, I mean, you never know. He, he does have some other characters, but I'm sure he's pretty, he's the most confident in his Lars. 
Happy to see this escalation from Lud. He's looking pretty strong, yeah, right? Definitely. Asuka is not really an offense-driven character anyway. I definitely agree. She has the tools to be offensive, but she definitely shines with her uh, turtle and defense. Oh. Good break. Yeah, that was a generic grab right there. And look at this. Oh, Lut finding the perfect timing to break up Gunslinger's offense, but Gunslinger gets started anyway. Yeah, he, he's finding the perfect amount of offense to break down his defense. Trying to extend there with that sidestep. Yeah. Gunslinger's applying a lot of pressure and making him see, just trying to see what he's going to do in each situation. Round two. hard for a left to guess. Oh, got back four. <gasps> oh, okay. okay. That was better, better than nothing, all right. It's hard to whiff punish that thing. It's hard oh. to space that thing out correctly. Yeah, definitely, because you don't want to get counter hit by it, so. <laughs> right. That's a bad day. <laughs> Gunslinger. Ooh, the arc blast. Okay. Okay. Uh-uh. Oh. Gets the reset. Oh. Cute. Caught a whiff punish. That was wow. adorable. Wow. Really quick first two games. That while standing two down is such a weird thing, but it's cool to see Gunslinger turn it, you know, get some use out of it. But finally gets a 4-2. Oh, plus ramps. Oh! oh! He was making him guess. Missile flame advantage. Oh. Gunslinger was so ready for that, too. Oh. Oh, he tried. You saw. You saw Gunslinger hit the low pay right after he low kicked him. Yeah, these guys' shins are destroyed after that one. <laughs> the down to or down force. Okay, look at this. Lud is looking so intimidating with the spacing. Yeah, now now you see Lud is the one that's not doing anything and trying to force Gunslinger to out. Uh, oof. His movement is aggressive, but you're right. He's not pressing a whole lot of buttons. Yeah, he's just waiting for Gunslinger to go for specific moves and then just counter poke him. <gasps> Oh, you saw that quick duck into the Rising 4? Yeah, and then bam, drawing out an Arc Blast from Gunslinger and then a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> Not able to close to it the, out though. I think that was a uh, Tooth Row. Oh, the Rage Drive, he had to spend it. Oh, got okay. him with a 1 plus 2 grab. To the wall. All right, Couple he has wall position. He could, he could do something. Oh, yep. is that supposed to be delayed hop kick? Oh, okay, closing it out. Final round. All right, let's see how this is going to end. Oh, I know what punish in the back three, but... It looked like Lud was sweep. ducking for that house sweep, too. Yeah, I think he probably ducked for a little bit and just came right back up. Sometimes the second you see Lars do that motion in your face, you, you think you know he's going to go for it, and then you, you don't want to get hit with the mid, and you just automatically fuzzy back up. That's a Tekken thing, man. <laughs> <gasps> oh, he ran into the back three. There we go. Uh -huh. Free ring circuit. Okay. Oh, he went back to four? Okay. What was the four for you? Yeah, maybe he went to do back four. Yeah, maybe he's going for another three ring. <gasps> oh, okay. Now back four. Oh, the orbital hit? Yeah, he caught him on the Korean back dash though. Oh, oh, he's going to the other wall with this one. Oh, oh my uh, lord. Oh, he just missed. Oh. All that time in trading mode and he wasn't able to make it happen. We know <laughs> we know Gunslinger has, has worked on that combo in yeah, trading mode. Definitely. Too. I was all, that's okay. It was yeah, almost you know he really wanted cool. it, but he see he took the Oki, Oki situation instead, so Look at all these critics in chat. I haven't seen this guy do f uh, full crouch one plus two at all. Give the man a break. <laughs> He's in grand finals. Yeah, he made it all the way. <gasps> also, I mean, it's hard for it's hard against Lud, I think, to get in that sort of position to get full crouch mix-ups. Ooh, so, so you see all Lud actually went for a full crouch mix-up right there, and he got arc blast. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. These guys are like so poised to press a button when they when you enter their space. Definitely. And these players play each other so often, play each other so much, especially when they're developing at this level. They're going to understand each other and know what they're going for. So they have to do unorthodox stuff to catch one another. Right. Oh, oh he just ran up. It's like right there. He just ran up and did the uh, grab. Yeah, that one break. Uh, oh, wow. See? Yeah. Two down force. Oh, snap! Look at this. Now we're Whoa. definitely going to the other wall. Oh, he oh, hasn't used oh, the screw yet. He hasn't used it. Oh, oh. oh and the pressure. He took the running three instead. He wouldn't grab. Oh. Good break, good break. I looked down for a second and I just seen Lara's pressure. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And I'm pretty sure he still had a screw to work with, but it's hard to get those situations. Still, two wall breaks is Ooh. pretty good. See, so he's really good at using that down back force keep out when he knows either someone's trying to step him or like back away from him. Oh, right. there goes the back three. 
Okay. <gasps> oh. Okay. Man, I gotta tell you, Lars's backdash is kind of boo boo. <laughs> hey, well, he has the best, some of the best approach with his stances, so I guess that, that evens it out. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's supposed to be the balance. But Gunslinger makes it look good. His backdash is looking really clean these days. Oh, definitely. Oh, generic throw. I said Gunslinger's doing a good, really good <gasps> job at uh, mixing Ludd in with these throws. Oh, Ludd, oh, he just uh, gonna throw up himself. Yeah, he definitely identified early on one of Ludd's big weaknesses, I think, is teching throws. Oh, oh that, wow, that wasn't a whiff punish? I'm surprised. Yeah, a oh. couple of critical hiccups, and now we got six seconds on the clock. Gunslinger oh, yeah. to slight light disadvantage. Ah. Ludd had the read on the low. Round four. Okay, Gunslinger needs this game. But it seems like Ludd is going to be... Oh, he called it the side stuff. Oh, the wall messed it up. Oh, okay. He doesn't care. Oh. Oh, just out of range for the wall bounce. A good punish. <gasps> oh, oh, gets the punch, oh, but fails to, to punish that again. I wonder what that is on block. No, the first time I think he uh, he did punish it. The first time, no, the f he failed it. That's the second time. He's blocked that twice, and both times he went for wall standing four, and, and it didn't work. So I wonder if you just have to, like, you know, full crouch four or something. <gasps> Oh, down jab. Okay. Okay. Keeping it close. Fight. Aura says, bro, I'm yellow ranks on North American ranked. I totally understand what's going on in this match. I think uh, trolling some of the guys trying to give these players advice a little bit. But listen, <laughs> this is season two. Everyone is Tekken God, true Tekken God Prime or whatever. <laughs> Dude, I have seen some really trash players on, <laughs> that are like ranked really high in rank. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that. Season two, everyone's the top rank. Yeah, oh. I, I just said when rank doesn't really matter. It's really a bone. What you what you approach rank for? Right. Oh, this might be going. Ah, okay, just just out of range. Oh, Ooh. the whole time. He, he saved that. That's the first one we've seen all tournament yeah. too. He used it like a double gen up four. He's like, yeah, I'm just saving this in my pocket. God like. <laughs> Whenever I see that move, I just, and I get hit with it, I'm just like, oh, this lost player is crazy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> even if it's Gunslinger, even if it's the only one you've seen all tournament, you're like, you'd still get upset that you get yeah, hit by that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but that was a great interrupt. Yeah, definitely. That's a cool looking move, too. I'll say it. Yeah, like I said, it's just like double gins. That's really cool. But it's just like when you get hit by it, you're like, oh. I just wish this character had different hair. Uh, he's supposed to be anime, you know. But he's like a he's like a Swedish dude or something, right? Or Finnish or something like that. I don't even remember uh, Lars' origin. To he's be honest, he's Scandinavian. <laughs> we'll say that he's a Norseman. He's supposed to be Kazuya's half brother, right? Isn't that what it is? Or adopted like? Yeah, so it's something in the story. I, I remember the story, but it's just been after a while. I just stopped keeping up with the story. I was like, yeah, I so much to learn in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know the lore, man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really pay attention to the story in these games either, but I just happened to know that. Ooh! Ooh. Wow. Counter okay. hit. Gunslinger wants that reset. That move is boo-boo. And I can't... Yeah, he hit a counter hit anyway. Yep. I think he... But uh, using as a, the way he used it as a crown Oki tool, catch him on the get-up, I think it was a good situation to use that to move in. Okay. Ooh, the back three. He stop side stepping me. On to, to the wall. Wall combo. Look at this. Blood turning it around, trying uh, to punish that. Oh, 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 all right. And that's what I like about Gunslinger. Even in the weird situations that uh, happens throughout the match, he'll create something out of it to uh, bring himself back in the game. Like, look, he still has rage. He just needs one combo to kill him. Yeah, and he may not even need the rage. Oh, oh what a challenge. Tip range down four to one. I'm surprised to see Gunslinger run in that far. Definitely. I'm surprised it hit from that far. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I think there must have been a button there. That extended the hurt box a little bit. Oh, oh, oh random arc blast. But the side steps through the punish. That was really clean. Okay, no duck there. Oh, no four four one plus two. I like oh, it. Oh, okay. I thought he got hit by the orbital. Oh, oh this large player is crazy. <laughs> and you know we're going all the way to the wall. Oh, uh, no, almost there. Quite. Okay. Oh, go to the feet. Don't press him. Oh. <gasps> Oh, he wants. That's, that's he gotta be death. Yep, he wants it. Oh, oh, oh no, screw. Oh, oh he already down. used it. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Round four. Fight. Okay, one more game for the, until reset for Gunslinger. Half Japanese, oh, half the shoulder. Swedish. 
it half Japanese, half Swedish? No. Oh, double back one. Oh, the arc blast, but no punish. I think Gunslick's starting to get in the Lud's head. He's not uh, punishing a lot of his moves. Okay, good wall standing punish there. Okay. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, you saw, saw the sidestep duck? Sidestep like, duck <laughs> avoids both hits. Oh, we whiff punished that back three. Oh, that whiff. Oh, we caught, we caught a, little, a few jabs off of it. Oh. Oh, and Lud really getting in Gunslinger's face, really trying to make this comeback happen. Gunslinger presenting that challenge with the... Whoa, oh, okay. I mean, I guess Lud had the right idea, but he just sidestepped a little too hard. Okay. Oh, the back three, the whiff, make his jab whiff. And Rage is serious here. He, oh, oh, he's going to use it. Uh, I feel like maybe a Rage Art would have been the better idea considering the life situation, but oh! The wild standing four, barely ah. able to close it out. And Gunslinger and then, yeah, the gets reset. the reset. Oh, man. Oh. Really in Lud's head now. If I was Lud, I would at least uh, switch the stage and think about it for a little. Did he just go back to rematch? Oh. Hey, it's getting late. They're trying <laughs> to close it out. I mean, if someone reset the bracket, I feel like you should at least like slow down the, the pace and see what happened and try and figure things out a little bit. Right. But hey, both win losers. So let's... Okay. Yeah, we're going straight into it. Oh. He wasn't scared to use that back three. Yeah, a lot of crucial whiffs there, but uh, another one, down four two, just lets it fly. Yeah. Oh. Gunslinger really trying to draw something out of Lud here, and Lud is just not biting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, but it seems like he's finding out when Lud wants to press buttons. Yeah, that is such a big part of this game is figuring out your opponent's rhythm, and I think Lud is playing at the level that that's n he's not going to be too susceptible to that. But Gunslinger just really had a lot of success there breaking it up. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there goes that throw. Oh, wow, they didn't do anything for like two seconds. He just got up and it was a stare off. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about, right? We talked about rhythm. And I think that's a really dominant display that you don't have a rhythm that can really be interrupted when you stand there for a second. Just oh, wait. No, definitely. Sometimes it makes your opponent like, okay, what are you going to do? Right. Ooh, let's the can-can run. Oh, okay. shine shoes. Hey, there's oh. your full crowd shot, one plus two. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, down that four. Oh, Ooh. wow, that was very brave. Yeah, random four. Lars's four is not quick either. <laughs> okay, back one. Try to keep him away. Back one again. Oh, oh, this time he breaks one plus two grab. Oh, just runs up four to one. I mean, four, four to one. Oh, oh. look at Lud so is getting so tricky. Oh, oh no. He They're had really to trying reach. to get each other's heads. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Got the wall position. Oh, he missed the punish. Oh, oh sidestep arc blast. What a trade. I, I want to say that traded. They both went for one plus two there. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, for forward one plus two. Oh, okay. Interesting. Slight punish on the arc blast. Yeah, Lud really looking for the counter hit on the sidestep four there. Okay. Oh, Ooh. back one. Get away from me. Oh, but his back's to the wall. Oh, he's finding himself out, out of the wall now. Oh, well, let's keep poking him right back into the wall. Lud is looking a little bit tired. His movement, I think, is starting to lose its crispiness, getting a little bit soggy. Oh. Yeah, it seems like he's uh, pressing a lot more than I just say something. I know that feeling, man, especially when you play on stick. Especially, for some reason, Sanwa stick, Japanese stick. You start getting really tired. Hmm. I don't yeah. have that much experience playing on stick, sadly. You see Lud, he's, he's not doing the Korean backdash so much. He's going for opting for box stepping instead. It's a little bit easier on your hands. So I think that may be an important sign. If Gunslinger can identify that Lud is going to have a harder time backing away, that's where he can start to pour on the offense, right? Yeah, uh, that was another situation right there where he used the down back four to keep him uh, from getting away. But that time he got a little too angsty and got hit with a four too. Oh, now they're starting to miss their punishes. Oh, 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 lets it fly. That's the first one that missed. Yeah, and that was a big miss too. Yeah, the tracking of that movement, second six used to uh, hit so many things, but because they reduced the tracking, it's not as good. Uh, and I it's feel still like, much I feel like this is the only character they reduced the tracking for. Lars, his his moves are really linear. I think more linear. I, I see. I feel like I learned quite a bit of Lars, and I feel like more of my moves were whipping than any other character. Yeah, and Six's tracking was like ridiculous. Yeah. I guess they really Capcom this character. Whoops. That's what we call him when somebody over nerfs someone who's strong. Oh, goes for the rage drive. Okay. Plus no, two grab. No break from Lud, and now we got. Oh, he, he runs into no. his rage drive. Oh, I think Gunslinger was trying to help work that clock back a little by. Maybe presenting a little bit of a threat with his body, right? Like moving forward, and then he was going to move back. Yeah, but then he ended up getting hit by the uh, 
raise drive. Going face first in those knuckles. Yeah, sometimes you get hit by the raise drive just even trying to back dash and you'll get caught ducking or sidestepping. <coughs> oh, man, we got a fight. Maybe we can get a first to three uh, between Tyrannostorm and a pimp named Moses. Oh, what happened? No. Uh, I don't know. These guys are wilding on each other. <laughs> I made a couple comments about people uh, <laughs> criticizing the players, <laughs> and uh, it seems to have sparked a little debate. I mean, I always say if you want to criticize the players, just come out and perform too as well. Like, if Yeah, that's game, the best way to do it. Yeah, just come out and show your skills. Show us how to play. <laughs> Teach us. <laughs> now, we're commentators, and sometimes we'll say stuff like, oh, he missed the this or he missed the that. But that's more about informing the audience about what, what options yeah, are available know. to the character. Right. And sometimes, you know, we've got to comment on the character's psychology, too. That's how it is. Especially when it's uh, players like this who've been playing each other so often, and... You know, they're really trying to get each other's heads, so it's a really it becomes really complex. Like Tekken is not simple. It right. can be simple, but it's it's not always simple. But it's different when you're in chat and you're like, uh, why didn't he just do this? And it's like, yeah. well the answer is simple because they're playing oh, a tournament. Wow. And First the pressure's on. Ooh. <gasps> oh. No break. Hey, why didn't no. he just break that, Wami? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> It was a hard. It was a hard throw to grab. Uh, I, I would have broken that. <laughs> Those are the comments that are not helpful. I was going to say, Lud has actually been catching Gunslinger a lot with that grab throw this set. And he's doing a really good job of hiding it behind uh, moves that leave him plus. For sure. And that's Lud, right? When you play a character that kind of has Spartan offense like Asuka, you learn, I think, better how to make it work. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, he's making the small little adjustments in this gameplay right now. Ever since uh, he got the reset, you see he's, he's up right now. Right. Oh, okay. Orbital. Pretty sure this is going to the wall. Oh, the wall's right there. Oh, messed oh, with the combo. No. Yeah, that was uh, that surprised me as well. And you see how he used that down back four and it hit at tip range just to keep make sure Lud didn't get all the way out. Oh, he just ran up and hit a throw. <gasps> Oki situation. Oh, oh man, no. he hit him with that same throw. And we talked about earlier in the set that Gunslinger was getting away with a lot of throws. This time, Lud is the one showing Gunslinger that this could be a two-way street, right? Yeah, he's like, oh, you want to guess too? Okay, we can both guess. And I think, and look, so many throws back and forth now. Now that both players have seen that throws can be a really effective option on offense, we're seeing more of it. But I think it's actually making Gunslinger's offense more predictable and uh, making it so that Lud can get uh, better reads <gasps> on him. See, and he got hit with um, a block one. Oh, right. ah. Launch punish, beautiful. Yeah, Gunslinger has to slow down the pace. He's not playing his uh, same usual pace where he pokes and like backs away. You see, he's just trying to overly poke at him. Yeah, and it seems like we're seeing a little bit of the old Gunslinger here trying to maybe autopilot his way to victory. And you can get some success that way, but ah, yeah, now see, that's two for Lut. You win. Oh, man. Hey. After the reset, I didn't think it would uh, go like this, but... Yeah, these guys Ooh, are starting to right get right back old. into it. Oh, okay. Yeah, right back into it. Well, I mean, what were, what were you going to do? Go back to stage select and pick another one of the uh, seven volcano stages? <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> Maybe something a little brighter. <laughs> yeah, that could be. I like how Boom says that the background of the stage looks like Seiko's head. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you playing with a Seiko like that? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know if those two are tied like that. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. They're, they're pretty cool. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. I don't know anyone that's not cool with Boom anyway. Yeah, but it both's cool too, man. <laughs> Okay. Oh, double down back. Oh, triple Whoa. down back for us. He's like, I need you to duck. Right. <laughs> yeah, Gunslinger really trying to condition oh. Lund on, on defense now. Okay, he's like, no, I didn't duck. Oh, no. Got the punish oh. right there. We and see Gunslinger's playing a different type of game. He's really trying to get in Lud's head now. Yeah, really trying to work the offense. And I think you mentioned it earlier that Lud's back dash was not looking as crispy. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh goes for the L sweep. I think maybe Gunslinger's identified that. Oh, nice side step. Side step. Oh, big side tooth fairy. Yep. Goes for the okay. Goes for the okay. Oh, oh, uh, but he runs to the down back four. He didn't care about those plus frames. Hey, there are no plus frames on that. On on Oscar's slash kick, she's neutral. Oh, neutral. Yeah, the gunslinger mentioned that on commentary just before he went up to play losers. He says you got to challenge that slash kick every time. Oscar players want you to think that thing's plus. It's not. Oh well, I just learned something new. Yeah. <laughs> And here goes Gunslinger. Oh. Oh. Ran up with one plus two grab, but oh, clean down four two. He said, don't do no, no stand stuff in my face. 
Yeah, Lud definitely getting sick of Gunslinger trying to put those uh, op uh, put those mix-ups right in Lud's face. Putting out a lot more. Oh, Gunslinger's I think. playing that type of game where he uh, is not pressing anything again. And that's what it's all about, right? The push-pull. Conditioning your opponent so that you can do the opposite. Oh, he doesn't just punish. Oh, that was very Ooh. brave of him. I'm There's surprised they didn't kill, though. Yeah, one hit point. It was one hit point away. Goes for the back one. All right. 2-1. All right. Oh, we're really stretching this out. Oof. Gunslinger going to get another one? Or is Lev going to close it out? <laughs> I remember Lev was telling me how he feels uh, Gunslinger is one of the people that's uh, really difficult for him to uh, beat in tourney at times. Right. He said just because he feels like he really understands the Oscar matchup, so it's a, it's an uphill battle for him, he feels. Definitely. Yeah, and I know that Lud talks about Gunslinger. He says uh, he calls him one of his demons, his yeah. tournament demons. <laughs> yeah. Because Gunslinger usually has Lud's number. But Lud looking in rare form today. Yeah, definitely. Coming out in full force. It was crazy. Um, Love was applying the momentum at first, and Gunslinger started making slow adjustments. But ever since his new uh, reset, Love's the one, been the one controlling the pace. For sure. These were Love's games to lose, right? He had the benefit of being in winner's finals. He got to take a little bit of rest. But these two, back and forth, have been playing Tekken for the last, like, two hours now. So they're a little bit, you know. Oh, he's going all the way to the wall? Oh, uh-uh. Oh, wants the Oki? Oh, you oh, really want to make close him, it out there. You're trying to make him guess for that last one. Oh. Yeah. Man. Bringing out all the tricks now. Okay. Okay. Some of those Lars lows. Really not super threatening, but... Okay, gets the wall. Uh-huh. Look at that damage. The backspring, and he ran right into oh, it. Oh, right. Another backspring back. It looked like Gunsling was backdashing at the wall to cover that backspring, but he ran right forward into it. Oh, clean down 4-2 to catch that wood punish on that back one. I'm surprised he actually caught that. Yeah, that was beautiful. <gasps> oh, he disrespected those plus frames. That, that could have been an easy counter hit. Yeah, those type of launches, I think, are definitely more uh, viable for Ludd now that Gunslinger is trying to play a trickier frame game, right? Yeah, he's trying to get inside his uh, flow charts. And Ludd sees that, so Ludd's doing a lot of um, Oscar basic moves to try and get away from him. He's more poised to punish those whiffs because he knows they're more likely to happen now. Yeah, as you see, he just went for a can can. Yeah. Oh, oh got that whip punish in that down forward, too. Ah, oh. no punish on that. Yeah. yeah, big commitment from uh, from Gunslinger here. Oh, the delay. Nice little mini combo. Lud's well, right. got good positioning here. Okay. Oh, he did it again. Yeah, that's. Lars's lows don't pose a huge threat, but they are annoying. Yeah, I definitely. It's like, ah, why'd you hit me with that little low? <laughs> yeah. And it looks like we're going to get a last game grand finals again, which is the tech thing. Ooh, great trade in Lud's favor. Ooh, caught him with the tech row. Oh, made him with that low whip and hit him with the arc blast. A little back and forth. This could be the momentum. Gunslinger needs to carry this to the last game. Definitely. Oh, big house Ooh. sweep. He's just forward, too. <gasps> Backspring. Oh. oh. And that's going to oh. be it. Okay, Gunslinger closing out this game, going into tournament game. Both players now. Yeah, two. Uh, Bud got a, a quick two, and Gunslinger just got a quick two. So they're just going right back into it. Yeah. They both seem tired, frustrated. Like, they're like, I just want to get this over with, man. But I, you can definitely tell that they both really want to win. So this is about to be a really... Oof, this might be intense. Yeah, both players oh. really caring for a tenacious Tekken set, right? Last game, last round, we got the reset already. Oh, okay, slight punish. Ooh! Yeah, that's why they haven't stopped pressing buttons since the game. <laughs> yeah, Gunslinger really committing to that. Oh. Chip low. He could have got a nice float combo, but he gets a, he finds his way to a juggle anyway. Oh, missed that shoulder, and he got, damp, uh, he got punished for it. Oh. Ah, the, <gasps> the can, -can. can, -can. Yeah. Covering the wake up three. Yeah, that would have been death from much more life, too. A little bit of overkill. Yeah, okay. Lars definitely has swag, but he excels at nothing now. <laughs> I, I saw what Lars could do in Tekken 6. He, was, he used to be godlike. <laughs> okay, Gunslinger has another wall. 
Okay, big whiff punish for Lud. Now we're gonna get a little bit of sidewall. Oh no, land straight, okay. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Wow, two whiffs, but he didn't get anything from uh, but the down 4-4 four, four to finish it. I know, these, right. these players spacing is so strong, but there we saw a rare opportunity where Lud spaced out the low, but wasn't able to get the punish. I feel like this is gonna be hard enough for Gunslinger. I mean, he can uh, better use his spacing to get away from Lud, but I feel like that wall damage is what uh, Lars needs. Yeah, I think you're right. To uh, definitely open someone up, unless he does stuff like this, you know. Oh, okay. he, almost, he almost got the Oki situation. Yeah. Oh, good block on that. And look at this Gunslinger coming back with a quickness here. <gasps> Oh, okay. Oh, oh, he's chipping him down. All he needs is literally one. Yeah, one, one more mix-up for the Rage. Oh, and that should be that, it. We'll that, see if he lands yeah, the combo. That, that's it right there. Rage Drive, he lands it. And gets the soccer kick. He, he beats his demon tonight. Blood conquering his demon, just like you said, Wami. Wow. But, you Big have, but as you see, it went all the way to the last game. I know that was, that was probably stressful for him. Crying.